What is in a name? Hey, Washington football fans. Well, guess what? The name thing is heating up. It's been on Twitter. People are talking about what the new name is going to be. And since all of these sexual harassment allegations and investigations and now Robert Griffin III's book coming out sometime next year talking about all this stuff, it is a great time to talk about what the new name for the Washington football team is going to be, right? Because guess what? We still have a season going on. And I mean, come on, folks. Let's talk football, right? But I wanted to make this quick video on the name. So I made probably a, a few videos um, in the past about the new name for the Washington football team and you know, all, throwing out all of the names that people were talking about, you know, Red Tails, Red Wolves, um, Hogs, uh, Warthogs, Warhogs, all this stuff. And it seems like Commanders keeps being the name that people keep talking about. Commanders, Commanders, Commanders. And there hasn't been like a lot of love per se. I mean, there, there's been enough people to say, you know, I'm okay with it. I don't really care. But I haven't really heard a lot of people say they are in love with the name. But same thing probably happened when the Wizards uh, became the new name of the, the Washington basketball team. You know, a lot of people loved Bullets. And, you know, when, when they changed it to the Wizards, it just kind of sounded generic. You know, and so I'm not sure Commanders may sound generic to people as well. I don't know, but you know what? Let me take a sip of coffee here. Mm. Uh, Java. So, my opinion, it's not my favorite name. It does sound a little generic, but it's not awful, I guess you would say. I mean, it, it could be worse. It could be like uh, The Breeze or, <laughs> you know, uh, something like that. I mean, just something silly. Um so, I guess I would be fine with the Commanders. I still don't think that's going to be the name, though. I think that name is in heavy, heavy consideration. And something that people may not have picked up on, especially if you're not really on Twitter a lot, um, is the fact that Jason Wright had mentioned that there's going to be a lot of, um, how did he put it, uh, misdirection. Yeah, there's there's going to be a lot of misdirection on the part of the franchise in order to keep the real name secret. So they're probably going to let out information, <coughs> excuse me, they're probably going to let out information such as, oh yeah, it's going to be this name, or we're really not going to you know, go this route because of A, B, and C. Which brings me to this next point, the, the point that there's been talk about wolves, like any aspect of wolves, uh, any rendition, I guess you would say, of wolves will not be used because it may have some sort of Native American uh, ties. And a lot of people are sitting there scratching their heads like, come on, why would anybody be upset over naming the team anything that has to do with wolves unless they just don't like the name? Uh, there should not be any type of... Um, you know, racial slur in that, right? And, you know, I, I believe I did mention this in an earlier video several months ago, but the one reason why that it may not be anything that has to do with wolves is the fact that uh, Native Americans honor the wolf so much that they pretty much parallel their lives after the wolf. You know, the wolf being the, the uh, lonely hunter, um, you know, and stuff like that. Native American tribes tend to kind of parallel, you know, compare their lives to wolves. And so they, they're they in such um, almost worship to the wolf that they're sacred to them. And so that may be, <clears throat> that may be something that um, would actually, I wouldn't say it go as far to say offend Native Americans, but it's something so sacred that, you know, they would rather people not use it and that could be the case personally I'm like come on I don't think that wolf or wolves should be you know off uh, uh, 
no, off the table at all. Um, I I love the idea of Red Wolves because it kind of keeps the cadence of Redskins, Red Wolves, and you know, hearing all the stuff about the Wolf Den and you know, maybe the fans could be the the Cubs or the Cubbies, the cheerleaders could be the Cubbyettes or oh well, yeah, that's right, we don't have cheerleaders, but you know, just just the simple fact. I've been on board with Red Wolves ever since I first heard about it, and I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I didn't really care too much for Red Tails. Um, I, you know, Hogs, I love the concept. I just don't think it sounds good, but, you know, I'm hey, I'm willing to go with that, honestly, at this point. Um, and honestly, the more that we use Washington football team, the more that I start to feel like, you know, we could probably just run with that. Uh, the only thing is, I would just drop football team because we know it's a football team. Just call them Washington, you know, and just just leave it at that. Um, and uh, honestly, if it was up to me, I'd be like, I don't care about all this PC stuff. I'm going Washington Redskins. They've been the Redskins for, what, 80-some years you know, that's what I, that's who I grew up cheering for, the Washington Redskins. Uh, I missed the, the logo on the helmet. I thought it was of honor. But, you know, I've went through this several times, so we don't need to get into that. So, yeah, Commanders. I think Commanders has a strong possibility. Um, I don't really care for it as much. Um, but, I guess maybe it would uh, have some ties back to Washington. I mean, of course, it was military-based. Uh, Sentinels, I know a lot of people are still holding out for hope for that, even though that it may be a little um, campy because simply, you know, the, the movie that came out years ago, uh, The Replacements, were was loosely based on the, um, uh, the strike year in 1987, and loosely based on the Washington Redskins. So, you know, for them to turn around and name themselves after the fictional team um, would be a little campy, but at the same time, I, you know, I'd, I'd be okay with that as well. I, I just want the name to be something that we all grow to really be proud of. And that's the thing. We've got to be proud of the name. It's got to be a name that we're all like, you know what, I can, I can roll with this. People never thought how important a name is to a football team until they lose their name, right? And it's their identity. It really is. And for a lot of us fans, older fans, we feel like the identity has been taken away because, you know, we we have called this team Redskins for years. It's like, you know, all of a sudden, you're not allowed to use your name anymore. you got to go by some other name. And you know, some other social security number and some other phone number and suddenly, you know, your your family and your friends can't reach you because you're not that person anymore. It's maybe maybe a little over dramatic, but hey, it's because I haven't had all my coffee yet. All right, I'm going to stop it right here, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, get ready for Washington Commanders, which, hey, I'm already got names in my head to rename this channel whatever it's going to be so let's just wait and see the biggest thing i want to name this team is super bowl champions let's let's be looking forward to that okay you guys take care leave me a comment in the comment section let me know what you think about the name uh, like this com uh, like this video, share this video if you don't mind, and if you really don't mind, how about subscribing because, yes, these videos are going to get much, much better. Go back and look at my older videos. You'll see I put a little, bit more, a little bit more time into it right now. I only have early in the mornings before work to shoot these videos, so don't really have a lot of time for video editing. So this is kind of on the cuff and on the raw and all that stuff and I got to eat my breakfast so you guys take care and have a great day